So news has resurfaced of the Harold Potter RPG game currently being developed. This game isn't simply rumour, there's official footage from the project which has been leaked and job positions advertised for continued work on the game. Thus far we know it's an open world RPG set in the 19th century and allows the player to choose between following a path of good or evil. But if one were to speculate, what other features do you think could or should be included in this new Harold Potter game? Here's my list of stuff, let's dive on into it shall we? Number 5. Customizable Wand The witches and wizards of the Harold Potter world are each granted wands individually suited to them. The wands choose their users and are drawn to particular people based on things like personality traits. Each wand being unique as they are, they all have slight variations in their aesthetic. While, as far as I know, there is no mention of wand modification in the Potter world, this doesn't mean it's prohibited. Unless it's mentioned somewhere that it is, and I don't know. You tell me. But rules are made to be broken. They're really not, they're made to be strictly upheld and not deviated from under any circumstances if possible. But never mind that. A minor yet pleasing feature of the recently released Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order game is the ability to customise your lightsaber as you progress through the game and acquire new parts for it. A similar system could be utilised in this new Potter game. First of all, you could have the opportunity to select your own wand in a wand shop, or perhaps even build it yourself. They all had to be built by someone to start with. One possibility could be acquiring the parts to build the wand as you progress through the game, making it more powerful after each addition, until it's at its full capacity. However, the students in the Potter world seem to be required to bring a fully constructed wand upon their arrival at the school, and players would no doubt want the ability to use the wand straight away in the game, so this particular setup would probably not be the most ideal. The better option would be selecting your wand from the wand shop, or building it straight away and acquiring new items to make cosmetic changes throughout, and perhaps changes to upgrade its power levels. Number 4. Learn new spells Another cool feature in not just Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, but many other games too, is the integration of a skill tree. However, since Fallen Order is a good recent example, let's stick with it for now. The way in which you learn new force abilities when progressing through the game is good. A similar system could be implemented in the new Potter game for the way in which you learn new spells. Perhaps you could learn by attending classes which would involve lessons in the form of challenges to unlock a spell. Perhaps you could learn new spells by finding instructional material when exploring certain parts of the map. Or even learn illicit spells from dodgy characters you interact with throughout the game. New spells would be useful for new challenges and should be usable in free roam against enemies etc. Number 3. Broomsticks for Travel in a variety of games, GTA serving as the most prominent example, you can select any nearby vehicle and claim it as your own, driving around any suitable area of the map. This function is replicated with horses in the Red Dead Redemption games, and other stuff in other games, probably. It's generally a cool option to include in such open world games. Well, in the Harold Potter world, they don't use cars to travel around. Well actually they do, but they seem to be a rare mode of transport. There are numerous wacky ways the inhabitants of this magical world seem to adopt for travel. One of these is flying on a broomstick. While this seems to be generally used more for sport than actual long distance travel, there is no reason such broom travel should be prohibited. Broomsticks could be dotted around the map, acquired and used to fly around the environment freely, in the same way as vehicles are available in GTA. The broomsticks could be relatively rare to find in some areas, and fairly common in others. Like with vehicles in GTA, this would be a useful and enjoyable way to get around, and it would make for a good way to escape or battle enemies. Perhaps you could cast spells and throw projectiles whilst flying on the broom, similar to how you'd shoot out the window of a car. Number 2. Diverse Arse Anul. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> ah, sorry. While the wand would no doubt be the primary tool in the arsenal, it would be good if you could carry other items useful for other tasks and scenarios, such as different types of potions, which could be used to complete some tasks and used against enemies in different ways. Some could function as fairly simple throwable explosives, and others could do more unique things, like turning stuff into other stuff, or making things melt. 
You know, all the classic potion abilities. Some of them could also be used to transform your avatar in order to achieve certain goals. For example, if you needed to retrieve something from deep underwater, you could drink a potion to turn yourself into a sea creature. Or at least give yourself gills, like in that film. Gill Boy the Fishy Fella. Number 1. Multiple Playable Environments You should be able to play in a diverse range of places. Not just the school grounds, but other places in the Wizarding World, such as that alley. You know, Hexagon Alley. It would also be good to include an option to explore and play in certain areas of the Muggle world too. Still maintaining the ability to use magic there and influence the people and situations. This should probably be restricted fairly tightly as too much of an open world like this for a game where players use magical powers may end up being more interesting and enjoyable than playing in the magical world. It may, or may not, it would depend on how the wizarding world was handled. Perhaps one confined area of London in a place with notable landmarks would do. As a side note, since we know this game includes the ability to choose your path of good or evil, wouldn't it be dope to have a Potter GTA style game where you're a wizard or witch inhabiting the muggle world and you can do all the things you can do in GTA but with magic? No guns, just magic. Being pursued by a police helicopter? Magic that thing down and wand the stuffing out of everyone. Magic your car to make it fly. Turn enemies into candy floss and eat them in front of their families. Okay, maybe that's a bit much. But you get the drift. Would be a magical experience. Ha ha ha. Ah, priceless. Anyway, that tangent aside, what do you think of these features? Are these things you'd also like from the game? Or do you have different criteria? Let me know in the comments below, subscribe for more videos like this and other gaming videos as well, leave a like regardless of whether or not you actually liked the video, it would just be polite, you know? And click the bell end to receive alerts of when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, see you next time.